let us see few more examples on tracing parametric equations okay straight question says trace the curve x equal to a t1 t plus sin t y equal to a t1 plus cos t now the rule first says parametric equation find the limiting values that is the greatest and the lowest value so that we know how the curve can be traced or where the curve lies between which two points the curve will lie so if we observe when t equal to 0 x is equal to 0 as sin 0 is 0 and y is equal to 2a so when t is equal to pi by 2 we obtain x is equal to pi by 2 plus 1 into a y equal to a when t is equal to pi we observe x is equal to pi a y equal to 0 so if you observe here x goes as x goes from 0 to pi a y goes from 2a to 0 that means we, y lies between 0 to 2a so we can see here greatest value for y is 2a and lowest value for y is 0 so that means i can say the curve lies between the lines y equal to 0 and y equal to 2a also if you observe when t is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 but y is not equal to 0 so there is no condition where both x and y are equal to 0 therefore we can say curve does not pass through origin also there exists no term whereas x tends from value y tends to infinity or as y tends to some value x tends to infinity so we can say there exists no asymptote we have seen these conditions of asymptote in Par uh, remarks terms okay so uh, we see further tangents which are parallel to x-axis and parallel to y-axis dy by dx is equal to dy by dt upon dx by dt so why here do we have condition consider this as x and y both lies on depends on the parameter t so dy by dx is equal to dx by dt dx by dt from the equation gives the value as minus a sin t dx uh, sorry dy by dt gives the value as minus a sin t dx by dt gives a into 1 plus cos t so minus sin t sin t can be written as half angles 2 times sin t by 2 into cos t by 2 1 plus cos t can be written as 2 times cos square t by 2 that means we get the equation of dy by dx as minus t tan t by 2 now when t is equal to 0 we observe dy by dx is equal to 0 and since, when, since dy by dx is equal to 0 we will be say we can say tangent is going to be parallel to x axis but here we can say now this x x parallel tangent is nothing but the x axis itself as t equal to 0 means x is passing x is 0 y is equal to 2a that means x axis itself when t is equal to pi dy by dx is equal to infinity that means we can say at this term pi tangent will be parallel to y axis okay now we draw a table form here so that we check how x and y varies that will be more uh, easy for us that this will help us to trace the curve easily so as t equal to 0 we have already seen x is 0 y is 2a pi by 2 pi by 2 plus 1 into a in, and a at x t equal to pi x is equal to pi a y equal to 0 Similarly, we observe at x t equal to 2 pi, x is equal to 2 pi a and y is equal to 2 a and for negative x is also minus pi a and 0. So, this gives us how the values of x and y as t varies from 0 to 2 pi or also in the negative side 0 to minus pi. Okay. Further, we also need to check where the curve does not exist. That is the region of absence of curve. Now we have, no, we know here the curve lies between y from zero to two a. That is in the positive side. What will be, what if, what is the case in the negative y axis or below x axis? So for that, we can take the equation of y. Y equal to a into one plus cos t. One plus cos t can be written as two times cos square t by two. That means we get the equation as cos t by two equal to root of y by 2a so now if we observe if i substitute any value of negative value of y this cos t by 2 at that means finally t will become imaginary so for well any negative value of y t becomes imaginary so i can say there exists no curve beyond or sorry below x axis for that is for negative y axis so how will be this curve exactly first of all we know curve will lie between 0 to 2a y from 0 to 2a and uh, now we know how it varies from x as x goes from 0 to pi a y case if you have to so when you draw the curve if you observe here this is your x axis 
this is your y axis now see x axis we know y, y lie sorry curve lies between 0 to 2a so this is y, y equal to 0 this is y equal to 2a point now further as x uh, varies goes from 0 to pi a y kya hota hai decrease hota hai 0 to 2a se. so ye decrease ho gaya like this similarly a symmetrical path can will exist here also so this will go here okay so for this curve now also we know there exists a tangent tangent to the curve that is the x-axis this is a tangent to the curve at zero also there exists a tangent which is parallel to y-axis at point pi a so this will be one tangent to the curve so also if you observe now this curve will go beyond pi by pi pi to 2 pi ke liye bhi aise hi curve a jayega so obviously this point is becomes a double point and there exists only one tangent coincident tangent so i can call this point as a cusp that is the nature of this point is a cusp similar point will exist on the negative side of x axis so i can say there will be another tangent here and this point can be known as cusp so if you observe this is a circular roll along a plane and we know we have seen a definition where a circular roll and on a plane drawn on a plane is known as cycloid so this curve is known as cycloid this is its circular section this is its this axis x axis is its base okay so now we see one more equation one more example for tracing a parametric curve now here the curve is given as x equal to a into t minus sin t y equal to a into 1 plus cos t okay again we find the limit limiting values so limiting values at t equal to 0 x is 0 y is equal to 2 a at t equal to pi by 2 x is equal to now here it is going to be pi by 2 minus because there exists a minus thing here sin pi by 2 that is 1 so pi by 2 minus 1 into a and y equal to a at t equal to pi x is equal to pi a y equal to 0 okay so again if you observe here the greatest value for y is 2a and the lowest value for y is 0 there will therefore i can say the curve lies between y equal to 0 to y equal to and y equal to 2a also if you observe at t equal to 0 x and y both are not equal to 0 x is equal to 0 whereas y is equal to 2a therefore we can say the curve does not pass through origin also we can say it, it does not contain any asymptote next now we need to check the tangents so for tangents we need what is value of dy by dx again since this is a parametric equation so dy by dx is equal to dy by dt upon dx by dt so dy by dt derivative of y with respect to t will be minus sin t and with res, uh, x with respect to will be 1 minus cos t so this will become minus sin t upon 1 minus cos t a gets cancelled so i can write this as my, my sin t as 2 times sin square t by 2 into cos t by 2 upon 1 minus cos t as 2 sin square so sin term gets cancelled this remains minus cos t by 2 so when you observe when t is equal to 0 dy by dx becomes infinity and say dy by dx infinity that means tangent will be parallel to y axis and y axis or rather we can say it can be y axis itself at t equal to 0 when t is equal to pi dy by dx becomes 0 therefore there will be there will exist some tangent which is parallel to x axis at point pi t equal to pi or you can say at point x equal to a pi okay further so we again in the as a previous example we make a tabular data we see as how x and y varies as t varies from 0 to 2 pi okay and further again we need to check the region of absence of curve again here in this if you observe this curve again lies between 0 to pi in positive side of pi we need to now know what is the case for negative y terms so again we consider equation of y y equal to a into 1 plus cos t so y equal to a into 1 plus cos t again we can represent it as half angles 2a cos square t by 2 means we get an equation as cos t by 2 equal to root y2 by a so if you observe if you substitute y as negative term this t will become imaginary and hence we can state there exists no curve below x-axis okay so x this curve will 
lie between 0 to 2a on positive side of it above x axis now how this will this curve can be traced this is x axis this is your y axis okay now suppose this is the point 2a x is 0 y is equal to 2a okay then this uh, here it goes from pi so this is term pi by 2 this is the term pi further it will go towards 2 pi so this is suppose 3 pi by 2 this is 2 pi here also it will go minus pi by 2 minus pi on the negative side okay so now observe as x goes from 0 to pi a y decreases from 2 a to 0 abhi yahi condition humne isme bhi dekhi thi is example mein kya dekhi thi ki as x goes from pi a pi 0 to pi a y goes from 2 a to 0 now you can say there will be similar curve but no there will not be a such similar type of curve where it will vary it will vary at pi by 2 term if you observe at pi by 2 x is pi by 2 plus 1 times a whereas here at pi by 2 x is equal to pi by 2 minus 1 so obviously this curve will lie below the term pi by 2 so at term pi by 2 it will be some value lower than this a term at pi by 2 it will be some value lower than this a term okay here it was some value at pi by 2 it was some value greater than some a pi a term for y equal to a pi by 2 plus 1 so it was some greater value whereas here it will be some lower value so this curve will go decreasing but it will go decreasing in such a way okay again if now we have seen there is some tangent at some point a this can be dotted line say this is a tangent and again now if you observe as it goes from pi to 2 pi it quick y increase is from 0 to 2 a and x decrease uh, x as x increases from pi to 2 pi so we draw a dotted line here so that we get the boundary point it goes not curve does not go beyond this okay so this is the greatest value for y now x as x increases from 0 pi to 2 pi this increases like this again further from 2 pi to 3 pi it will go like this and so on the curve will go also similar a symmetrical part will exist here so this can be like this and also we observe at t equal to 0 there is a tangent so this y axis itself is a tangent so we can say this point is a cusp also if you observe this is some tangent now this cannot be a cusp but this point this can be a cusp okay now if you observe this is also a circular play circular roll or roll, but circular roll over which line over this line y equal to 2a so this line will now become the base for this circular and this curve is also known as a cycloid this distance is 2a distance this is your base these are the cusp we observe this x is equal to a pi we have a tangent here this is distance uh, pi, this distance pi, this is the point actually 2 pi a comma 0, this is the point actually a pi comma 0, this is the point 0 comma 2. So this is another form of a cycloid, okay, cycloid whose base is y equal to 2a. Here, this was a cycloid whose base was x axis.
ओके सो यू नाउ हैव टू जस्ट सी जब ये ऐसे टर्म टर्म्स आएंगे वेन यू हैव सम इक्वेशन एक्स एंड वाई पैरामीट्रिक इक्वेशन सम इन फॉर्म ऑफ कॉस आइन पीरियडिक फंक्शन है जीरो टू टू एट फर्स्ट जीरो टू फाइव में देखो फिर तुम्हें फाइव टू टू फाइव में समझ में आ जाएगा कैसे वेरी हो रहा है और एट बीडल पॉइंट दैट इज इक्वल टू यहाँ यहाँ पे फाइव बाई टू है तो फाइव बाई टू पे चेक करो वो वैल्यू कैसे जा रहा है इस एग्जाम्पल में इट इज फाइव बाई टू माइनस वन वेर एस इन द प्रीवियस इक्व एग्जाम्पल इट वॉज फाइव बाई टू प्लस वन अकॉर्डिंगली वो कर वेरी होगा ओके okay?